What's going on everybody and welcome back to another video. So today I'd like to bring you guys another money making guide. And before I get into it really, I'd obviously like to introduce it and it's going to be cleaning grimy weeds. Now I'm not going to tell you what weeds right now, but little did I know that cleaning grimy weeds can actually be a pretty good money maker. And not only for low to, level, low to mid level players like my previous video, but also for high level players depending on how much money you really are wanting to make per hour. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So our first herb we have up right now is going to be cleaning grimy guam, which guam itself only requires level 1 herb lore. So right away, as soon as you start the game, you're able to actually clean these. And while cleaning guam, you'll gain XP, so it'll get you further closer to the higher level herbs that are involved in this guide. But to start off, you make 115,000 GP per hour by simply cleaning grimy guams. Now, I think that's really good money for anybody who just recently started the game and maybe doesn't know what to do. They can be cleaning grimy guams by possibly looking up guides of what to do next, or even just cleaning them for basic money making as a lower level and also some herb or XP. Next up on the list is going to be Terramin, coming at level 5 with 240,000 GP per hour profit while cleaning them. Now, to get to level 5, I'd strongly suggest to continue to stick with cleaning Guam until you get to level 5, and then continue to make, or well, rather, clean Terramins for a little while longer, and make a bit more money. And possibly, with that money, reinvest back into the skill of Herb Lore, and start leveling your skill up so you can get to the higher level uh, herbs, because obviously, the higher level your Herb Lore is, as you see in the guide, the more money you make per hour. But again, level 5 is next for Terramin, which is 240,000 GP per hour, and coming up next, it's going to be a good one. Once you're done making the Terramins at level 5 for 240,000 GP per hour, I advise reinvesting some more of that money back into the skill to get up to level 30. We'll be hitting onto Toadflax, which can make you an amazing 870,000 GP per hour. Now again with this one, that's really good money, but it's still not the best. So any money you make off the Toadflax, I would strongly advise putting back into the skill and working your skill up towards the next one, which in my opinion, it's going to be your best money per hour while cleaning herbs. Now, once you've been cleaning your total flax for probably quite some time, because this next one, you're going to need 70 herb lore, which, to be honest, isn't that difficult to get. You can either camp some herbs off of killing some certain monsters from doing Slayer or whatnot, or you continue to clean stuff with total flax and then uh, use your total flax money to reinvest back into the skill and buy unfinished potions and make those potions to get to level 70, because at level 70, you can now clean dwarf weeds. And while cleaning dwarf weeds, you'll be able to receive 1.6 million GP per hour in profit. Now that's actually right on, well not on par, but it's pretty damn close to some of the mid to high level bossing that you can do nowadays. And that's only for this cleaning grimy dwarf weed, which is actually really, really good money for, again, a very, very minimal effort. And I really strongly say it's very minimal effort because with the batch events nowadays, you click one herb and it cleans your whole entire inventory for you without having to spam click the whole entire thing. And then you can do your quick loadouts where you can just click one button and your whole inventory gets filled back up with the dwarf weeds while also banking all the previous ones that you had already uh, cleaned. So it makes this, makes this so much easier to do and so much easy just to be able to make money at a low level, at a mid level, at a high level, depending on whatever you want to consider your herbal level at that time and place. But level 70 is the one that you'd want to aim for. Now with all that being said, this guide itself is actually aimed towards probably low to mid level players again, but I wouldn't count out the high level players because obviously level 70 herb lore is a little bit up there, but it's not exactly 90s, so I really wouldn't say this is for high level players, but the money is there. So if anybody out there is ever looking for a decent money making guide for even a low to mid to high level player, this, uh, this advice would come in real good handy to them. I think they'd really appreciate it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you guys did, please give it a like or whatnot, and who knows, maybe share it to some other people that you know. But until next time, guys, I'll see you later.